5 to the n plus 5 to the n equal to 3750. And m and n are integers. We want to find m and n. And first, I want to prove m and n should be positive. Why? I got in case one. If both of them are negative, for example, m and n are non positive number, the sum zero, the sum equals zero, then five to the n plus five to the n less than or equal five to the zero plus five to the zero, which is one plus one is two. Diagram of five to the x is this. It is increasing function. Now, case two, if one of them be negative, and one of them be less than or equal to zero, the other one positive. So, what happens? Mm, we can say five to the n is positive. Five to the m is five to the zero, or a negative number. Five to the m plus five. To in this case, it will be a fraction because look, for example, 5 to the negative 1 is 1 over 5, 5 to the negative 2 is 1 over 25. So 5 to the n is not integer. 5 to the n because n is positive is integer, so some of them is not integer. This part also is 1 plus 5 to the n, which is not multiple of 5. It is equal to 3750. So again, contradiction, contradiction, impossible. Also, it was impossible. So. We conclude what? We conclude both of them should be positive. So K3. M and N should be positive. Okay. So we conclude one of them is greater than the other. We can say without loss of generality. Suppose M is greater than or equal to N. So M is N plus K. Which K is integer. And K is at least 0. So. Let's focus on this. We can replace m with n plus k. So 5 to the n plus k plus 5 to the n equal to 3750. And let's write it here 5 to the n plus k plus 5 to the n equal to 3750. Okay. So we factor from 5 to the n. How well, we can do that? Look, we have a rule, power rule, a to the n plus n equal to a to the n is a to the n. We want to use this so we can say it is 5 to the n times 5 to the k plus 5 to the k equal to 337.50. Now, if we factor from 5 to the n, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The next term is 5 to the n. So, we factor from 5 to the n, it will be 5 to the k plus 1. 37.50. We know k is integer. We said k is integer and k is at least 0. We said in previous page. So this number is not multiple of 5. If k is 0, 2. If k 1, 6. k greater than equal 1. It is the remainder when divided by 5 is 1. So it is not multiple of 5. And it is power of 5. So I need to prime factors 37.50. So I can divide it, for example, by 20. Let's divide it by 5 first. It will be 5. 7 times 5, 35. 25. 5 times 5, 25, 0. And I can divide it, this one. I can say it's what? 10 times 75. 75 is 25 times 3. So this number is also 5 times 2. So 5. 5, five is squared. So it will be 5 to the 4. 2 times 3 times 6. So we conclude, let me draw with the same color, this part equal to this part, and the power of 5 here, 5 to the n equal to 5. So 5 to the n equal to 5 to the 4, 5 to the k plus 1 equal to 6. So here, if you subtract by 1, 5 to the k equal to 5, so it is 5 to the 1, so k equal to 1. And here, n equal to 4. And we know that m is n plus k. So m is what? Is n plus k, which is 4 plus 1, 5. So the answer for m and n is 5, 4. But in the previous page here, I said without loss of generality, m was greater than equal n. But because the problem is symmetric, 
With respect to M and N, I can switch the answer. It is also 4, 5. Okay. Our answers are this. If you have questions, you can send a message to my WhatsApp number. And please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notification and like the video. Thanks. Bye-bye.